Luke 4 and 6, so he said, he said, uh, he said, uh, all authority, all this authority, I will give you. Now, look who's talking. The devil is telling Jesus, I got some authority to give you. Right. Right. Say what? Let's try again. The devil is a liar, but check this out. He's telling Jesus. But in this case, he's not lying, otherwise it would not be a legitimate temptation. Right. I will give you all this authority and the glory of these kingdoms. So the kingdoms of glory. Woo. Now, how did he get it? Look at what he said. For it has been delivered to me. So the question becomes, who handed over the kingdom to the devil? Now, now he says, it's in my hands and I can give it to you. And, and, and it has been delivered to me, and I can give it to whomever I wish. Wow. 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 Satan talking to Jesus now. Now, please realize in the next verse, Jesus did not say, you just lied. These are not your kingdoms. Jesus took him seriously. Right. Yeah. Which means that this is a fact that Satan has been given the kingdom, but somebody had to give it to him. Now, look at what Paul said in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3. So Satan claims somebody delivered to him these kingdoms and their glory, and he can give it to whomever. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. For if our gospel is hidden, it is veiled, it is hidden to those in whom, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3, in whom the God of this world has blinded their minds. They, they'll get to it, 2 Corinthians 4, check this out. If the gospel is veiled or hidden, it is veiled in those who are perishing. How? Verse 4, in whom uh, the God of this world, little g, somebody say little g. Little g. Notice it can never be big g, it's just little g. Can I pray to somebody? But it still nonetheless is the God of this world. So to build a church based on natural knowledge is to raise up a people that are already paralyzed because Satan is already crowned champion of the world. He rules this world. And you take the move of God and the Holy Ghost and the power of God out of the church, it's no bigger and better than a social club because you have no supernatural escape in your church. He's the God of this world. 